What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to another episode. Wait, I said it wrong. Wait, yo. Welcome back to AM Island. This is your boy Ari. Thank you for tuning into another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to part two of breaking into my school at night for test answers by YoYo808. Alright, you know, we had to. We got a little upset last week because we thought it would have been the whole video, but apparently it wasn't. Thank you, YoYo. Thank you. But you know, I'm sitting down here drinking my tea. You know how we do it. You know, I got get, get a little chill. And I drink, hot, I drink hot tea and I'm hot already, so you see me sweating like a good, just know that's why. And I got the best tea on the market, you know what I mean? Wait, you can see this? Let me do like, let me do like how the bitches doing the, um, the makeup tutorial. Let me do that. Hold on. You can see? You see? Hold on. Flip. Blasted all the freaking tea bag. You see it? You can see it? I, that's just actually you can see. Uh, tea. This tea be busting though. This is herbal tea. Twinnings. Twinning. Twin ings. Twinnings. Twinnings. Yeah, I, 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 I love illiterate. So, you know. We here drinking our tea. But, if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. You know it's rocking that life, gang. Forever and ever, always. That being said, let's get into the video. This is a part two video to my breaking into school at night for test answers video. So if you haven't watched part one, I strongly suggest that you do that so you can get a better understanding of this video. But if not, here's a clip from part one. The light in the room turns on. I feel the cold Let me get comfortable. down my spot. Oh, what? That didn't make sense and you don't get the plot of the first video? Yeah. They click the eye and watch the fucking yeah. The noise gets louder, louder, and louder. The locked door unlocks, the door swings open, and then I'm greeted by the last person I expected to see. Not a random teacher, not Mrs. B, not the principal, but the janitor. A janitor who wears high heels for some reason. That doesn't seem very practical. She looks at me and says, hey, 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 you are not supposed to be here. This door was closed and I'm sure your principal would not like this. Mm -mm -mm. What is your name? And for goodness sake, what is in your hand? Hand? I look down and realize when I panicked earlier, I just ran to the door without putting the test that I stole back where it was supposed to go. Nickel. I look at the janitor, but instead of showing the immense level of dread and fear in my soul, I tell her, who's stealing test things? What? I, I'm actually in that um, after school social studies class over there, and I um, realized that um, I left my homework and was just uh, getting it. Getting it. I'm okay. Well, go on then. She signals me out, and I... While still holding on to the test because I, I, I had to. I told the janitor that it was my homework. What was I gonna do? Put it back with her still there so I take it and hide out in the bathroom and wait for the janitor to leave. Because there is no way that I'm stealing this test from a classroom and taking it home. That is a whole new level of trouble that I don't even want to kind of deal with. So I waited. And waited. And waited. This lady was definitely shooting for employee of the month because she was going to town and she was cleaning that room forever. I waited so long that my social studies class actually ended. So I'm peeking out of the bathroom, seeing everyone leave the school, the hallway lights turn off, and I'm just like, did she run out of fabuloso? Like, what is taking her so long? Uh -huh. About 15 more minutes passing. Finally. Yeah. She fabuloso and clutch, I though. Book it so the light doesn't turn off and on again. I put the test back and dip. Yo. Go home, draw my book bag at my bed and think, I just snuck into a classroom after school hours, stole a test, got caught, lied my way out of it, and came out untouched. I'm really about this life, yo. I need a teardrop tatted on my face like right now. I take all the answers from my phone and write them on a small cheat sheet. Let's do it to you, 21 Savage. Working on an animation. I for real have the answers, yo. What did I need to study for? I go to sleep. What? The next day, and I genuinely That's how you go wrong, bro. I for real have the answers, yo. So I sit in my desk with the utmost confidence. The packet gets handed to me. I open the test, pick up my pencil. Nothing. Because I did not know not one thing on the test. But yo, yo, what's the problem? You for real have the answers. For real have the answers to the wrong version of the test. The test that I stole was an A test. And I'm taking a B test. Since it was dark and I was- And fun fact. I was too goofy. Let me show you. Fun fact, right? 
The B test would be actually the material you study for the A test. If you would have gone home and looked over the material you study for the A test, you would have been straight for the B test. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying with the A test, but now you're going to fail the B, B test and you're going to take the C test. Now that you fail the A, B, and wait, you just failed the A and B. You fail A and B. Now you got to take C. Now you're about to fail A, B, and C. Now you're about to get kicked out of class. You just get automatic zero. I don't even think they're going to give you a C test. Understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. To notice the difference between the tests and now. I just did all of this for nothing, and I'm screwed because Mrs. B is one of those teachers who make two completely different versions of the test. So the answers that I had were completely useless. Why does she have this much time on her hands? But I can't panic because once again, if I fail this test, I am not graduating. So I think of my options, I come up with a final plan. It's a risky one, but I'm desperate. It's all or nothing. Now that I thought about it, she gave you a second test? I can't remember, I watched the first one, but I can't remember why she gave you a first. Wait, I think because you, you was new. Okay, cool. All right, cool, now I remember. Because I was just was in my school, so first time you, you fail, you fail. It's kind of a temp no rewrite. So answers that start to write random numbers. Class mark is 70. Wait, all of them are the sheets in the show work boxes. I think it's 70. The bell rings and I walk into this B. What's it, 60? That I have two I problems and I ask if I can show up to school the next morning and get it done. Mrs. B, if you're watching this, you are the GOAT, man. She says yes, I leave, and I head to my what? school U.S. history class. Unbeknown to her, I actually wrote down the test questions on a piece of paper. See? I then take this paper to the library, type them up, print them out, and take said paper to my after-school class because the U.S. history teacher is also an ex-calculus teacher. Honestly, they should have passed me on my problem-solving skills alone. I tell my U.S. history teacher, I, I can't really remember her name, but I do remember that she was unironically built like the mom from Dexter's Laboratory, so I'll name her Mrs. D. Ass. I tell Mrs. D that I need help on my calculus homework, and bro, we sat there for 25 minutes doing every single problem. She showed me work and everything, and I didn't know not one thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit, oh hot tea, hot tea, oh gosh, no oh, oh gosh oh, I thought Jesus was coming just now. Oh my gosh, that shit burn Oh my gosh <sighs> Oh shit Oh But I had it. I had a completed cheat sheet. I go home, I go to sleep, wake up the next day, and I genuinely feel like to take this test. I for real have the answers, yo. So I sit at my desk with the utmost confidence. The packet gets handed to me. I open the test, pick up my pencil, and put that hole right back down. <laughs> what I told you. I take the test, oh. finish it, turn it in, okay, 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 okay. walk out of the classroom. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that I passed. I go to the next class, sit down, and just look out of the window. You know, it'd be funny. See the clouds. <sighs> Let out a sigh of relief and just relax. I was living in constant stress for like three days straight. I feel, it, it feels like this huge weight was just lifted off of my shoulder. Hi, is Johannes in this classroom? What? Oh, Mrs. B would like to speak with you. God it's damn. Fear fills my body. I get up and Flashes of every incriminating act that I've done in the past three days just run through my head. I just know I was caught. I walk down the hallway slowly. I look at the door down the hall and it just feels ominous. I feel as if with every step I make towards the door, I get weaker and weaker. It was almost as if I was on death row walking towards the room that I would breathe my last breath in. I walk towards the doorknob, barely strong enough to twist it open. I know. I messed up. I open the door and boom! Not only yeah, scared, they motherfucker. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. I see the janitor standing there too. Mrs. B looks at me. Ah, oh, there you are, yo yo. She grabs my test, looks at me, and I know that she knows. She then says, Sit down. We need to talk. Imagine if I ended the video there, but no, 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 I promise. I sit down, I look okay. at the janitor. I look at Mrs. B and then... 
Anyways, you have a good one, B. <laughs> you too. I, I will see you at the book club, yes? Girl, you know it. <laughs> have a good one. Oh, thank God they were just talking. Yo, yo, I wanted to call you in and say, congratulations, you passed the test. I know it was stressful for you. Good job. Test shakes my hand and I go to head out, but right as I leave, yo yo, one more thing. She looks at me and winks. Make sure you thank Mrs. B as well. Man, shout out to Mrs. B. I'm sure she found out either by the janitor or the fact that I literally wrote random answers on the test that I'm sure she looked at just yo. be correct the next day. But maybe Mrs. B knew math just didn't click in my head and she saw the effort that I was putting into passing the test and decided to grade me on my effort as opposed to my actual math skill. Or she just didn't feel like dealing with my incompetent ass three days before the school year ended. Either way, if it wasn't for her, I probably would not be here today. Shouts out to Miss B. Sorry, that is how I graduated high school. Yo, let's go. Yo! I say what I Shouts out to Miss B. Miss B is lit. Miss B know this nigga cheated. And still grade this nigga. Wow. That's lit. My math, let me tell you what my math teacher would have done. My math teacher would have told me, Edo, you tell me you cheat and you get, what, 15% or I give you zero and you just say you don't cheat. So I'm like, huh? <laughs> right? They say, you, got, you tell me you cheat and I give you 15% or you say you don't cheat and I give you zero. Which one is you? Which one you want? So I look at the concert, I say, fuck. At the end of the day, a nigga still going down bad. So I was like, man. So, I ain't gonna lie. I cheat. All right, you're 15%. I say, all right, cool. I have the dog. That's mass. You know what I mean? You might be saying, oh, wait, this is to say, um, you didn't cheat. Stick to your lot. This nigga was gonna give me zero. I already take the 15 and, and work my ass off for the artist. You know, let me tell you. In, in school, do you know how hard it is? It, it like bunks and back from uh, uh, from a zero percent is like trying to break uh, crack addiction. That's how hard it is. You know what I mean? That's how hard it is to get from zero. So I said, man, you know what? Fifteen percent, I can work. I can't work with it, but you know what I mean? Like a zero would yuck. Like say you you ascended into heaven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Zero. Get your ass back now, yo. You know what I mean? So I say, have it. Let's just, let's just, let's learn the lesson and just not to, oh yeah, look good. Let's learn the lesson not to just do it again. But anyhow, it was dope, man. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, man. I really love his animations, you know? But if you guys enjoyed the video too, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys are new to the channel. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. My thumbs are shaking. But with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Be happy, just be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Peace.